So the New Orleans Pelicans are trading away J.J. Redick and Nico Lomelli for Wesley Awundu, uh James Johnson, and a second round draft pick. And I don't love this trade for either team, but we'll start with the Mavericks, who I like this trade for. I don't love it, but I like it. J.J. Redick seems like an undervalued commodity at this point. One of the best shooters in this league. Someone that has a lot of experience. Veteran. Gritty. Not a good defender. But he's going to fight. And just someone that's experienced in big moments. So I think that there's a lot of teams that really could have used him. And at the top of my list, is it really the Mavericks? I think they needed to get better around Luka Doncic. Better shooting. Better offensively. But also better defensively. Because the reason I say I don't love this for the Mavericks is... You can't play J.J. Redick and Nico Lomelli and Luka Doncic on the floor at the same time. That defense would be the worst defense possibly in NBA history. Just doesn't matter who else you throw out there. Just those three players, that's great shooting. But defensively, that is not enough. So you're going to have to you know, match up their minutes to where they're not all three of them playing together. I feel like. And even just Luka Doncic and J.J. Redick. J.J. Redick, like I said, he fights. He's not the worst defender in the league. But he's also not a plus defender. He's And they're going to get picked apart with those two out there. If those two are out there, they're going to need to at least have Dorian Finney-Smith and Maxi Kleber, who are very good defenders, out there at the same time. That's why I like it, because if they do have those two with them, it can work. It's just a situation to where, next to Luka Doncic, the defense that he's played, I love me some donkey. But next to him, with the defense he's played so far, I feel like you kind of need all two-way players. But to get J.J. Redick at that deal, it was good. And in big moments, J.J. Redick, he can help out that Mavericks team. And they just got a whole lot better shooting. And they're just going all in on, let's get this offense as great as possible. Let's build this around Luka Doncic, give him some shooters, and just hope Finney Smith and Cleaver can hold down the defense when it comes time. And hopefully Porzingo, his defense can step up because it hasn't been so great so far. But in the past, he has been known as a great defender. Maybe as he keeps getting settled in from injury, he'll become a great defender again. If that happens, then this is a really good trade. And it's not a bad trade for sure because they only gave up a one deal. They only gave up James Johnson, who I've said seems has seemed washed for a couple years now. And when I watch Mavericks games, he definitely seems washed. And a second round pick, which takes me over to the Pelicans. I just don't understand why they were so, you know, determined to get rid of J.J. Redick. I really don't. Like, the reason I say I don't love it for the Mavericks because I feel like there's teams that need shooters a lot. And... The team that I feel like most needs shooter is is the team with Zion Williamson, whose whole game is based around slashing to the rack and, you know, has potential defensively. He hasn't been a great defender so far, but he keeps getting better, and he was a great defender at Duke. So you figure he's going to get there at some point with his bouncing ability, his athleticism, his heart. I feel like you would want just great shooting around him. I feel like him and Reddick's two-man game works really well. I just don't understand why it seemed like they were determined to get rid of him. I'm starting to lose faith in that front office over in, in New Orleans. It just held their whole organization. I love Zion. I love Brandon. But I just don't love the positions those guys have been put in. And this year it just doesn't make sense to me. You bring back Wesley Wondu. Okay. You know, decent young player. Potential. You know, he kind of got lost in that Mavericks rotation in the win now situation. I get it. I get that. James Johnson to me seems washed. He just seems washed. I've seen him play a lot. You know, he wasn't. He got kicked out of the heat for a reason, you know. He had some great moments for the Heat, but he was unwilling to stay in shape enough for the Heat, and they kind of just wanted him out of there, and since then, he's looked rough. And then a second-round pick, like, are you going through another rebuild? What is the pick doing for you? I just don't understand it for the for the Pelicans. I don't understand how this makes them better. I feel like they want to make a run at that 10 seed this year, and I don't think any of the players they got back helped them. I think they just got worse this year with this. They got slightly better looking towards the future. I'm not mad at them giving up Melly, even though he's a really good shooter. When he's out there defensively, it really hurts them. But they just got rid of both shooters for no asset I love. A one dude is cool. James Johnson, I, he's a nothing player for me at this point. Well, maybe he could turn around in that situation, but we'll have to see. And then a second round pick. I just think they're doing Zion dirty right now. Who is their spot, who's their spot up shooter? Where are they going to go? Josh Hart's a good shooter. Not great. Eric Bledsoe can't really spot up shoot. I just think they're... I never. I haven't liked the moves they made this offseason. I like Steven Adams, but I don't love his fit next to Zion. I like Eric Bledsoe. I don't like Eric Bledsoe. Don't get me wrong. I'm not an Eric Bledsoe guy. And I definitely don't like his fit next to Lonzo and Zion. I think the Pelicans are just making it worse and worse. And now their build makes 
no sense. I thought J.J. Reddick was one of the few players that makes a lot of sense. Coming off those curls and having him and Zion play that two-man game off those picks and rolls, I just... <sighs> having J.J. Reddick set screens on Zion and him popping, there's a lot of stuff they were doing. It just made sense. It worked. I never understood them trying to get rid of Lonzo either. Thankfully for them, they didn't get rid of him. I feel like if anyone, I'm a Brandon Ingram fan. I have a Brandon Ingram jersey. But if anything, they're just running the offense through him a little bit too much. And that's the only thing that might be hindering Zion or Eric Bledsoe. And those are the guys that weren't doing the trades discussions at all. And I love Brandon Ingram. I'm just saying if you could get a lot in return, you know, maybe the fit-wise. But, but Lonzo, and, Lonzo and J.J. Redick are the guys that, to me, seem like they fit perfect. So I don't understand what the Pelicans are doing at all after looking like they were the best up and coming franchise after trading away Anthony Davis and all they got in return. But let me know what y'all think. Drop a comment, hit that like, and then subscribe. Please, yes sir.